Our next guest says there are unprecedented opportunities in real estate this year. He's recently launched, in fact, a billion-dollar strategic investment uh, fund looking for opportunities. Phil Blumberg is chairman and CEO at Blumberg Capital Partners. He joins us here live at our Asia headquarters. Phil, great to see you. Before we talk about bricks and mortar, let me get your quick thoughts on uh, uh, the Senate passing this financial overhaul uh, bill. I mean, how much is it worth really when they could not and did not vote on two key things, I mean, one, auto dealers, but probably more tellingly, uh, a tough and vocal rule banning prop trade at big banks. Well, I think the fact is that the politicians are attempting to reform what was set in motion three to four years ago. It's all about leverage. The fact is that politicians don't fully understand the business sector, and that's a frustration for us in the business community, because they don't address those issues in a consistent way that's going to methodically solve the problem. But the, the key issue is that Bear in mind, it wasn't a subprime crisis that set off this problem. We looked at it at the time thinking it was subprime. It was a systemic crisis, crisis with too much debt. And too much risk. Too much risk mm. and the weakest fall first. Mm. On that point, That's all they, that happened. They're obviously very different uh, principles when it comes to the House and Senate bill and some of this yes. on consumer protection. Yes. Uh, what are your feelings when it comes to the consumer watchdog principles and how that could impact the real estate market? Well, I think consumer watchdog principles in general are good, but in, in real effect often have the opposite effect. They end up shielding consumers from things that may be in their best interest and they often warp the real economics going on between a seller and a buyer. Um, typically we see too much regulation as being unproductive and, and I know people keep blaming lack of regulation on the problems we faced. It wasn't lack of regulation. It was a focus in the capital markets on debt. Every derivative was focused on making debt more liquid. And when liquidity in the debt markets blew up, speculative buying, speculative building in real estate occurred. And that was the first trigger. Bear in mind, every crisis in real estate has been a crisis in the financial system as well. Mm. You know, Phil, you were saying a couple seconds ago that a lot of these guys on the floor uh, of the Senate that you're looking at now uh, live uh, don't understand business. I mean, yep. people have been saying that forever. But they do understand politics and, and keeping their own seats. So are you surprised then? No, I'm not surprised because yeah. midterm elections coming up, they have to take some action. Forceful, correct. Is it be enough, though? I don't. Th I think it is enough because yeah. what happens with the general consumer is they hear there's a consumer bill. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Okay. The politicians dumb down the conversation. The consumers have to accept it at that level, yeah. and that's aren't unfortunate. Aren't consumers? Aren't people on the street though also screaming for blood from Wall Street? After yes, they they've are. Been milked. Yeah, they absolutely are. Yeah. And there's some elements that are correct. Yeah. To be candid, anybody who took investor dollars and bought at peak pricing focused on generating promoted fees as opposed to returns mm -hmm. should should give up some blood. Uh, but the reality yeah. is it isn't Wall Street. It is the system that was bloated in debt. And everybody's guilty, whether it's a consumer or a real estate company. If you took too much debt at peak pricing, that was irrational and irresponsible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. haven't even spoken about why you're here, but we've actually run out of time. You're here for the Cityscape uh, Conference in yeah. Singapore. You're speaking about today. You're talking about a billion dollar strategic investment fund in India. Uh, obviously a key investment. Come yes. back and talk to us more about that. I look that. forward to it. <laughs> Great Thank to have you with us today. Thank you very much, Philip.